Kohei Jinno was evicted from his family home so the 1964 Tokyo Olympic Stadium could be built. He was sad, but proud to contribute to a moment of national triumph. When it happened again 50 years later, though, it was hard not to see official indifference. Aged 80, he and his wife Yasuko were forced from a tight-knit public housing community in the shadow of the stadium, ahead of the 2020 Games, which start this month after a year's delay. Jinno said the eviction of roughly 200 families, many of them elderly, came from nowhere. They received about 170,000 yen, or $1,500, which a Tokyo city official confirmed was standard. But it cost $9,000 to move. The Olympics are being held a second time, and to be honest, there are painful feelings for those of us who lived there and had to leave our hometown. Why couldn't they have been a little more compassionate in their approach? Jinno's first family home burned down in World War II, so they moved just down the street where he ran a tobacconist's shop. After their eviction for the 64 games, he washed cars to make ends meet, and the couple lived in one tiny room with their two children. But in 1965, they were able to move back to the neighbourhood and reopen the tobacco shop, demolished after this footage was taken. There they stayed. Eviction again in 2016 was hard, he says, especially on Yasuko, who became lonely and depressed. She died in 2018. Now living with his son in western Tokyo, Jinno visits the old neighbourhood every few months. I was born here, I grew up here. When I look at the trees on Jingu Gaien, which haven't changed at all, I am filled with nostalgia and sadness at the same time. Jinno hadn't wanted the Olympics in Japan this time, thinking it too soon to host again. But despite their impact on his life, he says, he hopes they succeed.